Sturthof concentration camp was one of the most brutal and terrifying camps opened by the Third Reich during the Second World War. Inside of the camp were a number of female guards who would on a daily basis inflict execution, death, suffering and misery. The majority of the guards of Stuttoff were never brought to trial, and they escaped justice at the end of the conflict. However, there were a number of executions that occurred on Biskupia Gorka, a large hill and mound in Gdansk, where a number of large gallows were used. The huge gallows were where a number of female and male guards who had been condemned to die, following a war crimes trial, were executed. There were 20,000 people who had gathered to witness the executions of the guards of Stuttoff, and one woman who was led out in front of the crowd was Wanda Klaff, who at just the age of 24 was executed on the gallows. She was a horrific guard, and despite being only at the camp for a year before the end of the war, she was a sadist. Join us today as we look at the execution of the sadistic female torturer of Stutthof. And remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Stutthof concentration camp opened its gates almost as soon as World War II broke out, with the German invasion of Poland. The camp was established by a number of Polish prisoners who had been listed as needing arrest, and these first victims became the people who made the buildings and the different barracks. They even had to build where they would sleep. But as the war went on, there were a large amount of prisoners who would be transferred and sent to Sturthof, and especially as the war turned against the Germans, the prisoner population would grow. In 1944, the number of inmates rose, and many of the new prisoners were Jewish inmates who had been sent from camps such as Auschwitz. 24,000 prisoners were sent from Auschwitz, and to cope with the large amount of people transferred, more guards were brought to the camp. Some SS guards of Sturthof had been conscripted into the war effort, so officials looked towards a local area to recruit guards and staff, who would become brutes inside of the camp. This included a number of women, but the conditions as the camp numbers grew, broke down. There was a huge overcrowding problem, and disease spread quickly around the site, killing many inmates and also there was a huge lack of food and starvation was also a problem. The prisoners came from many different countries, and the guards were carrying out killings and executions on a daily basis. Prisoners were being executed on the gallows in front of other inmates, and the conditions of the camp were made worse, with the fact that mud was everywhere. Some inmates even drowned in the mud, and beatings were administered by a number of guards who brutalised the prisoners. But in total around 65,000 prisoners were killed in the camp, and many were exterminated through the forced labour they were made to do. Wanda Klaff was born on the 6th of March 1922, and she was from Danzig, or Gdansk, where Stuttoff was situated nearby. She was born Wanda Kalazinski, and her parents were both German, and her father worked on the railways. At some point the family changed their name to Kalden, in 1941, during the Second World War for some reason, but Wanda, it's believed, had a very normal schooling and upbringing. After she finished school at the age of 16 in 1938, she then worked inside of a jam factory, even as the war was waging on. She remained there until 1942, and at the age of 20 she then married a man named Willy Klaff, and she left work to become a housewife for a brief time. But as the couple needed money, Wanda then went back to work as a streetcar operator. However, in the local area of Gdansk, the SS put out advertisements looking for men and women to work inside of the concentration camps. They would not take everyone, and they were picky and wanted Aryans to work inside the camp. But Wanda Klaff then answered the call, and she was, in 1944, sent to Sturthof. She completed her training there, with more senior guards schooling a number of women on how to become brutes. Klaff, following her training, was then sent to Sturthof's subcamp, named Proust, which was found in a small town nearby. This was where many women prisoners were based, and whilst here she would beat, whip and assault many of the women that were held there. Following a short stint at Proust, she was then on the 5th of October 1944, transferred to the Russischen subcamp, which was found in a small village. This small subcamp imprisoned around 300 women, who were forced to conduct hard labour. If the women could not complete their work, then Klaff and the other female guards would beat them, brutally and the women were savaged by other guards. It was only a very small camp, with around 300 prisoners, so a very few select number of female guards were based there. But as the Soviet forces were approaching Stuttoff, a large number of evacuations took place. The remaining prisoners of around 50,000 were marched towards different places, and many were marched towards the sea, where they were shot in the water by machine guns which were set up on the shore. It's believed that around 25,000 prisoners were killed during the evacuations of Sturthof and the other subcamps, 
but for some of the guards, evacuations served as a means of escaping the site and also escaping the crimes that they had committed inside of the concentration camp. It was likely that they knew after the war, trials would be brought against those who treated the inmates horrifically and committed crimes in various concentration camps. Wanda Clough used evacuations in early 1945 as a way of escaping the camp and trying to evade justice. However, on the 11th of June 1945, she was arrested and was held inside of a Polish prison. However, the conditions at this site were also rather poor, and because of this she became very ill, in prison from typhoid fever. But she did survive, and she was then brought to the Stutthof trials to stand against charges of crimes against humanity. Alongside her were a number of other women, including Jenny Wanda Barkman, Gerda Steinhoff and Elizabeth Becker. All of these women were accused of crimes against humanity, and of treating the inmates of Stutthof brutally and horrifically. Wanda Clough was accused of hitting and beating inmates on a daily basis, and she admitted her crimes at the trial was incredibly smug about what she had done. She said, I am very intelligent and very devoted to my work in the camps. I struck at least two prisoners each day. It's not known why she admitted this, and it may have been a brag, as it would have been unlikely that the judges would have seen her favourably with this admission. However, along with many other former guards and a number of other women, Wanda Clough was sentenced to death in the Stutthof trials, and she was condemned to death at just the age of 24. After the war, many authorities found it strange how such young women could become such brutes. On the 4th of July 1946, she was taken from her prison cell to Biskupia Gorka, a huge hill in Gdansk. Inside this area, 20,000 people had gathered to witness the executions of the former guards of Stutthof. At the age of just 24, Wanda Clough was led out, and was then ordered to climb onto the back of a truck. On these trucks were a number of guards and officials, and there was also a stool. Wanda Clough was told to sit on the stool, and then the truck reversed back under the huge gallows that had been placed on the hill. These gallows were massive, and allowed everyone in the crowd to get a glimpse of the proceedings. Wanda Clough was then stood on the stool as a noose was thrown over the gallows, and it was then secured around her neck. Slowly then the officials got off the truck, and then the truck went forward and Wanda Clough swung from the gallows. Within minutes she was executed and she was left hanging for a while, until she was declared dead by a doctor. Wanda Clough was a woman who at the age of 24 was sentenced to death, and she was a woman who worked inside of the concentration camp for around a year. There were longer serving guards and women at other sites that were never brought to justice for their evils, but on the hill on a huge set of gallows in Gdansk, Wanda Clough was sentenced to death and was executed. She was one of a number of women at Stutthof who were condemned for their crimes, but the huge crowd of 20,000 that day saw all the executions. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.